Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. And I am Angela with Happy Little Stitch Shop. Today we are here for Whip Wednesday. And this camera looks off. Used to be zoomed in just a tish. Too much. Okay, how's everybody doing? There, now I'm not quite so close. Hello, Sheila. Hello, Deborah. Hello, Nan. Hello, Amy. Hello, Carol. Thank you. I love the quote behind me, too. This is our Penny Candy sample from Mercantile by Lori Holt. Um, and it's so, so pretty. I love it. It's one of my faves. It's like a fun patchwork quilt. Hello, Kim. Hello, Sharla. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Sharon. Hello, Susan. Happy Wednesday. Susan is so excited for the retreat. My suitcase is packed. So some this week is retreat week. Our retreat kicks off Saturday, but maybe, you know, technically, I guess, Friday night. Um, but officially on Saturday. And so I know some people are hitting the road today. I know a bunch are traveling tomorrow. Um, so people are starting to make their way to Wisconsin. Hello, Tammy S. Hello, Nancy. I can't believe it. I can't believe retreat time is here already. Like it seems like, seems like a, seems like it was a long ways off. And now all of a sudden it's here. Hello, Mary Jo. I know it has been a while. How are you? I'm happy to see your name out here. I hope you are well. Um, I have some goodies to share with you guys, by the way. I brought some, some things just for you to get kind of an early little sneak peek. Um, how's everybody doing? How is your week going? How is your Wednesday? How is everybody? Hello, Marsha. Flying on Friday. When are you getting in? Do you know what time you're getting in? I'm curious. My inquiring mind would like to know. Hello, Chris. Hello, hello. So yes, it is retreat week. So that's kind of in the in the very front of my brain uh, this week as we're gathering things and getting things prepped for loading them up and taking them up to retreat. And um, we have so much stuff to take. I feel like we either need to have a trailer or we're going to need to make multiple trips uh, up there to get everything up there that we're taking up um, for the pop-up shop and for the retreat itself. And um, so many things are heading up there from Happy Little Stitch Shop. So it's very exciting. And uh, we're getting all that stuff ready to go, and gather, gathering everything and making sure all of our ducks are in a row. Hello, Glenda. Hello, Patty. Mary Jo, I'm recovering from knee replacement surgery. How is your recovery going? Is it going smoothly? I hope. Marsha, 6.30. Charlotte is late afternoon. Okay. I'm having a retreat FOMO. We'll be, mark your calendar. Be sure to join us next year or whenever the next one is, uh, whether it be next year or sooner, maybe. Uh, but keep your ears peeled. Remember our Stitching with Lori Club. That's the reason why we do this retreat. We all get together. We're huge Lori Holt fans and we celebrate all things Lori Holt. And so um, our Stitching with Lori Club opens in June. So be sure to mark your calendar for June 1st uh, to go and um, sign up for that and then come to join us for our next one. 
Hello, Mary Stitches. Hello, hello. So do you guys want me to share with you? Here, let me show you. Let me show you a picture. Let me share with you a picture. If I can find it. Here we go. I will say, okay, wait, hold on. Nancy, we are going to Cooperstown, New York to see my grandson play baseball in a few weeks. So no retreats for me this spring. Well, that's understandable. And how exciting for your grandson. That's awesome. Mary Jo, going very well. Next knee will be replaced in September. Oh, you've got another one on the books. Hello, Carrie. I'm glad that it's going well. Hopefully the next one goes just as smoothly. Happy Wednesday to you too, Carrie. Okay. Any guesses on what this is all about? This is outside the shop. This is the street right outside the shop. This is what I was doing on Tuesday last night. Was it? Yeah. Was it last night? <laughs> it was. It was just yesterday. Yesterday was just Tuesday. Oops. That's hard to believe. This week has been wonky. <clears throat> Susan, yes. Yes, Susan. And not even all of it. So we have had three pallets delivered. And that's not even all of it. That's not even all of it. So autumn, part of autumn has arrived. Cutting has begun. Fat quarter bundle invoices have been sent if you reserve the fat quarter bundle. Some of them have already shipped this morning. So literally, I just had my, my kids down there, down at the shop last night after school. We were there for a while. They got ice cream after that because we were there for a while. And there, those boxes were heavy. They were lifting so many boxes. And my husband was out of town, so he wasn't there to be able to help. And so it was like, oh, my gosh. How are we going to do this? Um, but we got it done. And already today we have started shipping autumn goodies. So yay team, yay Hooper team, and yay complete happy list of shop team. Um, it's very, very, I know, I know Tammy S. I know. So yes, the big semi is autumn arriving, part of autumn arriving. There are many like another 104 bolts that are due to arrive to me soon, I hope. Um, and then, yes, last night, uh, a, a tornado warning. Yes, we didn't go to the basement, but we probably should have. Um, I, I tend to not be the smart one. And when I hear of a tornado warning, I go to the window to, to watch what's going on. Uh, but yes, we had a tornado warning last night. Carol, I meant helps with runoff water. Oh, Patty, do you have flower girl fabric? I do. It's not listed in the shop yet. That is also just arrived. Um, I and I have. Yes, it's here. It's going to be listed in the shop very very soon. We don't have autumn listed in the shop yet either, so that's going to be added to the shop very very soon. All of the notions for autumn are in the shop. Um because they were already out there for coming soon, but the yardage has not been listed yet, except for the home deck yardage. That's been listed because that was already out there too. Um, Flower Girl is here and that's going to be listed very soon. And the other one that's on the way and not here yet is Little Witch by Jennifer Long. I'm all about watching the weather. I know, it's not smart though. So um, the semi arrived with all the autumn goodies and I brought some to share with you guys. Do you want to see? Do you want to see what, what I have to share with you? I'm going to share it again tomorrow for the, for the live stream. And if you're coming to retreat, you will be able to see it in person. I'm going to iron this. Let me know if you want me to share with you the goodies. The goodies that I brought. Or if you want to wait till tomorrow. Ooh. There you go, being in a rush again and not, not spritzing a little starch on here. Okay. 
Okay. Just one two and a half inch square out of this one. Two and a half inch square. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Please share. Okay. So let me, let me do this. First up, this is in the shop right now already. And these are the ones that I will open for you because these will go into my, my stash. So here's the autumn washi tape. Okay. My gosh, you guys, I am so excited. When we previewed autumn, when we did the new release card and we previewed it, I was like, oh, April is never going to get here. I cannot wait to see autumn. And now it's here. And I'm actually holding the things in my hands and sharing all these cute things that we were so excited about. When last fall, I think, I feel like it was, yeah, it was like September, August, September, October, or something like that. It's here. It's here now. Okay. So here's the washi tape. I'll hold it up. Well, maybe this will help shed some light on the situation. So those are the four. for the washi tape. I love, love, love these autumn colors. Look at the cute packaging. So the washi tape is in the shop. We're shipping it right now. Also in the shop is the collection we're talking about, which is this, this whole collection. Here is the massive, Backcourt bundle. I mean, look at this. It is massive. There are 52 prints in this bundle. There's that gunny sack from Autumn Love that we all fell in love with, but it's, you know, colored differently, but that's the print. So fat quarter bundles, if you reserve this, it's, it's um, been invoiced. And if you paid for it this morning, it's been shipped. And uh, we have others in the shop if anybody wants a bundle. And we'll get it out, order it today. We'll likely ship it tomorrow. That's, you know, like we're super fast with shipping. It'll go out within, within 24 hours. Okay, let's see. What can I share next? Next, I will share this. This, though, I will take out. And Here's the binder, my friend. Autumn binder. Look how pretty. So this is in the shop too. We've already been shipping these out this morning. So that was ready to go. Put these in a good place. I'm gonna save that for last. But I will show you, here are all the cute charms. Here's the sunflower charm in the shop and shipping. Hello, Candace. Hello, Stacy. Hello, Barbara. Here is this. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. This adorable little apple charm that's in the shop. We shipped some out this morning. And of course, this one. Susan, I love how Lori opens up the washi tape packaging to use her bookmark. Yes, I have all of my washi tape packaging saved for other uses. Here's the bee jar. 
so cute in the shop ready to ship hello pauline stacy i love the new colors i've already made the quilt and would love to remake it i know and all the new colors i mean come on have you guys seen the progress of our quilted scarecrow sample have you been following on instagram or facebook Here is the Scarecrow Needle Minder. It is so darling. I can hardly stand it. So there's that little cutie ready to ship. And I also have this. This is brand new for Lori meaning she's not done this size before. She's done the vinyl bags before, but not in this size. <clears throat> so this is like a true, true size project bag. You know, you can fit a pattern in there. You can fit all the stuff in there. It's vinyl. Open it up. It's got the little gusset on the bottom, so it'll stand for you. I'll show you from, or you can't see up here. So the autumn project bag is in the shop, ready to ship. So, so cute. And okay, I'll show you first. Oh, this one is so cute. I'll show you the packaging first. I am in love with this mug. Maybe also because I'm in love with this quilt kit. <laughs> this pumpkins and haystacks quilt kit. I am so in love with it. Here's the mug to go with it. We've already shipped some of these this morning. And I just got them online this morning. So these are shipping out the door right now. The autumn tin mug in the shop, ready to ship. I also, I'm going to give you guys a little heads up. Number one, we had talked about this either on here or Mercantile Monday, and people had asked for me to get some more of these in the shop. So I got a small amount in the shop for people to ship out. So this is the Daisy Bees Knees book stand. We have a few of these in the shop and they're ready to ship. I know I've shared with you the Mad for Plaid project bags in jade, rose, and corn silk but guess what you guys there is a new size of mad for plaid in 12 different colors and i have all of these in the shop for you so we have it in charcoal peony rose jade this is the mini Mad for Plaid. I think I'm going to get this one for my daughter, my little one. She loves purple. This one is lilac. And she can use it for like a pencil bag. I mean, these bags can be used for so many things. Makeup, a pencil bag, a little notions bag. Um, so many things. So lilac, olive, misty. Berry, burlap, corn silk, pumpkin, and bluebell. So we have all 12 colors of the smaller bag, the mini Mad for Plaid. And it's, they're super cute. And then we have these three colors, the big ones, corn silk, um, rose, and jade.
that's all the stuff that I wanted to share with you. Bring for a special peek today. <sighs> Hello, Pauline. I love the new colors. I've already made the quilt. I'd love to remake it. Yes, yes, yes. Stacy, I guess I'll be making some pillows or something. That's a good idea. Isn't the mug adorable, Barbara? Oh, I'm in love with it. I mean, it's got pumpkins on it. It's fall themed. So for me, that's like all the fabulous things for me. Kathy, love my book stand. I have yellow and pink, one for Ohio and one for Florida. I love it. So I have the yellow and I have the blue. The yellow one's over here behind those. Or the yellow and the aqua. I love them both. And I would like another one because I want to have one over behind my sewing machine to hold my pattern or quilt book or whatever. And they're fabulous for putting stuff up like this to display blocks. I love those book stands. Plus, I wouldn't mind having one up in my kitchen to just tuck away and pull out when you're working with a cookbook. So many ideas. Do you still have the three pack of Mad for Plaid project bags? I feel like... Let me check. Those were called Gingham on the Go. Gingham on the Go with the three different sizes. I have one left, Barbara. I have one left. Gingham on the Go is what it's called if you want to search for it, but it's out there. Gingham on the go, and it's a three-piece project bag set. You get three different sizes in there. Hello, Jude from Rainy Up North. It's rainy here too. Not not bad. I mean, last night it poured and it stormed, but it's not not as bad today. Okay, so those are all the new things that I wanted to bring to share with you. Are you guys excited about autumn? How do you feel about it? And for Whip Wednesday, while you're answering that. I'm on quilt seed number eight. This is the one that we shipped in April. So this will get me caught up, which I'm kind of like, that's a mini miracle. So this is the one I'm working on, but I am not as far as I normally am because again, it's retreat week. So this week is kind of bonkers. Um, so I'm cutting, I'm cutting up fabric today. So today I'm going to be cutting with you instead of, piecing. Hopefully I can get it all cut up and maybe get some piecing started before we gotta, before we have to say so long farewell to each other. Okay, but that's the one I'm working on today. Are you guys excited about autumn? So I'll be back and forth cutting and ironing, cutting and pressing. And starching. Okay, what are we cutting for this? I have to move this like out of the way. Two, two and a half. Label all my pieces, put my extras in my scrap drawers, my scrap bins. Ooh, that's just, just the right size. Will you be bringing Autumn? 
I can't read it because that emoji is in the way. There we go. Autumn fabric to the retreat. So I won't be bringing bolts of fabric. I'll be bringing the fat quarter bundle and I'll be bringing all the notions. Uh, we don't have any of the quilt kits and they won't be ready. We haven't received the boxed ones. Those likely won't come until May. So we haven't received the boxed ones yet. And um, the ones we're cutting won't be done because we're just getting started with that. Uh, so I won't be bringing any bolts. So if you want cuts of autumn, the best bet is to place your order online, which you can't do yet because the fabric's not out there. Um, uh, and then choose local pickup and then I can bring it up to the retreat for you. If it's not online and you're ready, you know what you want, just send me an email. You just went under tornado watch till 7 p.m. Oh my goodness. So I will get it in a few days from you one more day. I know, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Hold on, I will be right back. Sorry about that. I had an itchy nose. Then I needed to wash my hands. Um, tornado. So we had the tornado, whatever we had last night. That was kind of exciting. I didn't say big ups. I have a few days from now. Yes. So um, let me know if you want anything. Just send me an email, Susan. And I can pull that together for you. Okay. What is everybody else working on today? What are you guys working on for Whip Wednesday? I am loving these little quilt seeds. Each time I make another one, I just love it even more. They are so fun. So fun to make. So fun. You guys would not believe how many, how many bolts of um, just how much stuff we have in the shop right now. You would not believe it. Would not believe it. Thank you. 
This goes into my bin, my scrap bin. I'm working on this I know, almost done. Oh my gosh, can't wait to see it. We're discussing whether we should rent a car at the airport. Ooh. What do you think about that? Marsha? Have you made a decision? Kathy, Angela, what cross stitch are you currently working on? Oh, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell you that um, my cross stitch has not progressed nicely over the last bit of time. Uh, but I still have, so, so I'm going to be starting on, I have a deal with someone at retreat who wants to start together gathering stitches by Luminous Fiber Art. So I have that kitted up and ready to take to retreat with me. And my plan is to get a start on that. We also have a deal that we're going to start a collector together by Teresa Kogut. So I might be starting that as well. I still have kitted up and ready to start Quaker Dwelling, which I'm excited to start and I haven't started yet. And then in my rotation, I have... Um, my Sabbath stitch, uh, Savior's Praise. And I have, um, I still have some of my Christmas stuff out. Like I'm still working on Home for the Holidays by Country Cottage Needleworks. I'm close to a finish on that one. And so my thought was, I just want to keep this out and I want to keep going so that I can get it done. Um, but I have not, I've not had a lot of stitch time lately. It's been a lot of computer time. It's been a lot of time at the computer. And that's part of the reason that I love Whip Wednesdays and I love Mercantile Mondays because then I'm constantly making progress. If I could figure out a way to have like a stitch something or other, I feel like that would be really helpful. A stitch Saturday or, I mean, weekends are not great, but um a, a regularly scheduled stitch time to make progress. I think that that would, that would be helpful to just schedule it in regularly, you know, to my week. What about you, Kathy? What are you working on? Sharon is working on family reunion block from Lori's vintage block along. Ooh, that one is so pretty. That vintage block along that quilt is so pretty. Dave thinks he may want to see your things and find places for dinner. Yes. So that's what I'm wondering. If he wants to be out and about, then that's probably the best bet. I mean, the hotel is close. It's right by downtown Madison. So there are a lot of restaurants within walking distance of the hotel. But if there are other things that you want to be able to check out that aren't in the, you know, downtown radius, then you might want to have a have access to a car to be able to do that. Chris, you are a busy lady. No worries. You'll get them when you can. I know, but I I want to be doing more of it. Um, but I'll settle into a routine. Like this has been, this the start of all of this at the beginning of 2024 has been, has been, a, it's been a good routine, this Monday and Wednesday situation. Um, and I think a lot of you have enjoyed it. I mean, I've heard positive feedback from people that it's been helpful for other people as well. So let me know if that's the case or not. Um, the other thing that I need to start thinking about is Mercantile Mondays is almost done. So I'm trying to, to figure out if I just take that off of the weekly live stream lineup or if we keep it and slide another project in there to do on Mondays, just keep that time slot um, with a different project. What are your thoughts about that?
What are your thoughts about that? It's actually pretty close. Two and a half by sixteen and a half. Oh, this is the grass. This is the grass. Do we have enough? Do we have one and a half inches? Oh, we do. To add you to the one and a half inch strip bin. Two and a half. My sixteen and a half. Ooh, doesn't look great. That doesn't look good. Did I cut that right at two and a half? Sure did. Okay, I will ask. Are people saying? Um, I'm working on the last flower square of Edelweiss. Ooh, that came together fast, Pauline. Now the leaf squares. I've enjoyed working with you during the week. Very helpful, sis. Sharon, what was helpful? What did you ask? What's been helpful, Sharon? Carol, I say keep and start another so long so we could have. Yes, there are lots of lots of ideas that I have for that. Kathy, I'm retired, so as soon as I pull the house together, the day is mostly mine. I'm working on Spring Quaker and a Sweetwater wall quilt. Never enough hours in the day. It's so true. <laughs> Never enough hours. Or cloning, like I feel like. Cloning makes some progress. Mondays, then you can also pull in dedicated time for cross-stitch, too. That's a good idea. Chris, I'm a huge fan of Merc Mondays. I would continue to work along with you in another so long. Okay. Great idea. Oh, Whip Wednesday has been very helpful. Oh, good. Well, yay. I like that. That's good. Um, I've been thinking about... Um, so... For sure, we'll have the. I'll be doing the build a scarecrow. Um, so long with Lori. So I've thought about okay, maybe we slide that into Mondays. The other thing is, I am going to make. <laughs> I'm going to make that pumpkins and haystacks quilt. This one. I am going to make it because I love it so much. I just love it. I think those little pumpkins are so cute. And um, as soon as I saw it, oh my gosh, this one comes in this adorable pumpkin box with these pumpkin shapes that are only available exclusively in this box. And I love this quilt. And it's just the same thing over and over. So I want to make it. I don't want to send this off and have somebody else make it. I really want to make this one myself. Um, so 
I thought it might be helpful because I've heard from some people who are like, oh, I would really like to see those blocks put together. I mean, it's one, two, three, four. It's 20 of the same block. I feel like it'll go together pretty fast, especially if I carve out time to do it each week, you know, and then it will allow you guys to be able to see how these blocks go together. It's kind of, it's got, it's like a, it's like a mercantile vibe a little bit because you piece this whole block together and then you just add the little applique pumpkin to the front. So a little bit like hot penny candy with the applique circle or like the mercantile sampler with the applique circle on top of the background. So it's going to be kind of the same vibe. So I'm thinking about sliding this into Mondays, but also I will be doing this one with my friend Lori. You may know her. First name Lori, last name Holt. And uh, I think this one is adorable as well. So this one I will be making too. So those two I'm thinking about sliding into Mondays. And then this one we already made. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's so cute. <sighs> All those are still out there for reservation. If you're interested in any of them, grab your reservation because we're starting to cut. We're cutting. We're cutting now. Um, is, is, is the pumpkin box cardboard? Does it say? My answer is going to be yes, but... Let me see if it says. Let me see if it says. Collector box size. It doesn't say what size it is. It's not plastic, if that's what you're asking. Let me see if it tells me on the Riley Blake Design website. Oh my gosh, I could spell. Here we go. And there aren't gonna be a lot of these available. From what I understand, it's just what they have and once they're gone, they're gone. Like they, they ordered a limited amount. Um, finish. It comes in a pumpkin shaped box. Box size is approximately 16 by 13 by 3. Box design is not final, subject to change. I believe it's cardboard. But like that high, you know, like, like, like her boxes used to be is my impression. Um, with the magnetic flap, you know. But this is going to be, since it's shaped like a pumpkin, it's going to have a top and a bottom that just goes over the top, go over the bottom, is how I understand it. But I don't know that for sure. Sorry, I can't give you more of a definitive answer. Ah. My pieces that I just cut are flying all over the place. Carol says, I love pumpkin and haystacks too. I would love a sew along but like scarecrow too. I know I'm doing, that's why I'm doing both. Doing them both. Yeah, isn't the quilt, isn't the kit cute? And it's manageable for applique. So for if there's anybody who's nervous about applique, it's only, you know, those pumpkins. It's only a four piece so simple shape kit. There are only four pieces to make that pumpkin. You do the pumpkin and then the, the oval that's a different for the middle center of the pumpkin and then the stem and then the leaf. So you'll be making 20 leaves, 20 uh, ovals, 20 stems, and 20 of the pumpkins. Like that's it's so doable. And they're easy shapes to work with. Oval's not going to be hard. The pumpkin's not going to be hard. The leaf is not anything that has super pointy leaf, pointy points. Here, so you guys can see what I'm looking at. It's not super pointy. And then the stem, totally manageable. So 
I'm excited. These will be coming at some point too. Those haven't arrived yet. The design boards for autumn. <sighs> oh, good. Better than plastic. Yeah. For again, I've not seen it, so I don't know. But my understanding is it's not not the plastic like hometown had. It's not that. It's not like that. That's my understanding. <laughs> Seeing if somebody messaged me the answer to these questions, but they did not. You guys, I cannot. So I'm hearing that you guys would like to keep Mondays as a as a get together time and potentially move some other so long in there. I also have on my radar, we're gonna be starting October skies. Likely kickoff for October skies in my head right now is June. So there will be a schedule sent out and there will be videos provided um, for October skies. And then soon I will have winter skies to unveil and share with you. So I'm very, very crazy excited about about that for you guys to see this quilt because it's a one of a kind, never been done before, anyplace else, exclusive to Happy Little Stitch Shop. Quilt that we will be kidding up. Um, and I will have the sample done soon to be able to show you guys so you can see if it's something you want, you want to be a part of. So I can share it with you. I'm very excited about that. And that will be something that will get out the door to people this year for the kit. And then we'll work on in 2025. We'll work on it next year. Two, one and a half. So winter skies will be coming very soon. Oh, I only needed two. Okay, is this big enough? No, it is not. We need to label as and H. Hello, Mary. Just hopped on. You're painting and you're sewing. Not sewing today. Painting. What are you painting, Mary? What are you painting?
Okay. Hello, Deborah. I'm working on the border for mercantile. I got to get started on that. That's what I need to slide into my whip Wednesdays. What do you guys have planned for the rest of this week and this weekend? Does anybody have big plans coming up? Of course, for us, it's it's quilt uh, retreat weekend. So I'm excited about that. Lots of stuff going on with that in mind. But what about other people who aren't attending quilt retreat? Do you have big things happening? And are you guys ready for summer? We got a little taste of summer over the weekend. It's very, very nice out. Um, and then a little taste of summer storms last night. Which was crazy. Crazy summer storms. Okay. Ah, I'm running out of space. All of my all of my pieces. One of those to one and a half by You would love to what? What did I ask? I forgot, Deborah. You would love to what? Carol, getting garden ready to plant and quilt. Georgia, I think I have heard of the pumpkin and haystack, but I can't remember. I can look it up for you, Georgia, but don't know if I know your last name.
if it's Georgia B, and yes, you do have it reserved. If that's you, if you're Georgia B, then yes. Hello, Casey Shaw. Hello, hello, Casey. I think that you won our prize. You got to reach out and claim it so that we can get it in the in, out the door to you. I think you won the last uh, Friends Thursday live stream prize drawing that we did. You won one of those. Creative Cats, Angela, last night, or was it early this morning? I made a fun purchase. I have those to show. Hey, boo. Oh, yes, we were cutting that today. Just received the update that the order is cutting out the door. Yes, it's coming. We were, It was being cut this morning. I know. KC, yes. I know. It's exciting. Um. So, hey, boo is on the way to you, Creative Cats. Coming your way. My starch bottle is getting low. I need to refill. Need to refill my starch bottle. This mug, I mean, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm in love with those mugs. I have to move it though so I can put my fabric cuts over here, so I have room to cut. What am I cutting of this? It's a decent cut. What in the world? You don't want to be watching the top of my head. My camera skills are slacking today. these so handy stickers as well they are legit so handy okay I, think I only have a couple things of fabric to cut Quickest shipping ever. Yay! We take our shipping very seriously. Let me see. Where is my... Oh, here it is. I only have three more pieces of fabric to cut. So while I am getting ready to cut this, I'm going to ask a question. It is going to be... Hmm, that's a good one. If you could sleep 
in a different place each night for a whole week, what seven places would you select? The locations can be anywhere in the world. What seven places would you choose to sleep in a different place each night? Seven places are you choosing? I'm kind of digging, by the way, these mini mad for mad for plaid bags. Kind of. I'm going to take them out of the, well, I'll probably take them out of the bag tomorrow to show people during the live stream tomorrow, but maybe I'll take one out of the bag today. Maybe I'll take that purple out. <laughs> if I share that with my little ones, she's going to be like, ah, I love, I love it. It's all about purple. Cut this down to two and a half. What's next? This one. Um, Aruba, Alaskan, Alaska cabin near Fjord in Norway, Austrian mountains, Amish B&B in Pennsylvania, Long Island, Hampton Beach, at home in my bed. Those are good ones and well thought out. Can you tell I want to travel? And that was hard. It is hard to come up with seven. Like that's a lot, but impressive list, I must say. Free Spirit just arrived. I'm so late. We'll have to rewatch. Hello, Free Spirit. I know. I don't even know what my turn would be. Um, Beach front condo in Hawaii, Igloo in Alaska, Bunk Buckingham Palace, Lori Holt's house <laughs> in a chocolate factory, maybe at Teresa Kogut's house and my grandmother's house one more time. Oh, now that's sweet. That's a good one. Seven different ones, let me think. Okay, so in a... Uh, um, a building of some sort, a condo or house or 
cottage or something by the ocean with the windows open so that I can hear the ocean and hear the breeze. You're going to see a theme to mine. <laughs> um, by a lake, likely in a camper, but in a camper with a comfortable bed because our camper is not super comfortable. I'm always in pain the next morning. So in a camper, but in a comfortable bed right by a lake, again, with the windows open so that I can hear the lake and I can feel the breeze. Um, or even sleeping outside where there are no bugs next to a lake <laughs> so that I can see the stars and be, I like to be outdoors and I love to be by water. Uh, in Ireland, in an Irish cottage, again, by the ocean or by the sea. Um, that's only three. <laughs> I would love to sleep in, um, I'd love to go to London and sleep somewhere there. That would be four. Um, going back to sleep in each of my grandparents' houses would be nice. On my grandma's pullout, I always slept on her pullout sofa in her little apartment. And uh, I always slept in the blue room in my other grandma's house. So that would be kind of sweet to go back and be able to do that. I can still go back and sleep in my own bed that I slept in growing up as a child. So that's no, that's easy enough to do. So I've lost count, but a lot of it would be by water and having a nice fresh breeze, but comfort and no bugs. It's not asking for much. <sighs> Georgia, so yes, you do have it reserved. You do, you do. Marsha, Utah, New Hampshire, for starters. My kids and grandchildren are there, except the grandson in the Navy, and of course, home. I love it. I want to do a culinary tour of Tuscany, so I will stay in seven villas throughout Italy. Oh, that sounds fun. Georgia, I am constantly having to look at my order page to see what I've ordered. <laughs> Fortunately, Angela has caught a few duplicates and sent me a message to see if I really want to of something. Yes. we Now that now that I have help, um, our... Uh, shipping person who sees all those orders come through. She's been doing a great job of catching any duplicates. And then we always reach out and we say, hey, do you really want to or not? And then we try to fix it for you. Still no guarantee because sometimes they can slip through, but we try to catch them when we can. KC would say beach by ocean, miss the sound of the waves under the stars, feeling young. I know, just feeling young and maybe with a book and like no responsibilities, <laughs> just not have to be thinking in my brain going in a million different directions. My grandma's chilly bed, grandfather making a fire, love that so much. Oh, that is so sweet. And of course, learning how to cook on this culinary tour, of course. Deborah Hanks, Redwood Forest. Ooh, that's a good one. Australia, Alaska, Scotland, Ooh, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia. Those are good ones. Casey Shaw, I traveled as youth in, in huge feather bed I once had, remember? Still remember that sleep on my old sailboat on a warm night. Oh my gosh. Seven different French chateaus in France. We all need to travel together. Is what I'm, that's the takeaway here. We need to travel together because all of these are fabulous options. Those cards are kind of fun because it makes you think of things maybe that you wouldn't otherwise think of. And it um, kind of, you know, in some ways lets you dream a little bit. But sometimes in the busyness of life, you can forget to, you can forget to dream. My husband and I would always play that game where it's like, Okay, if 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 we if money were no object and time were no object and all the responsibilities we had we didn't need to worry about, what would you do? Like what what would be your dream house? What would be your dream vacation? What would be your dream way to spend an evening? You know, we used to do that. We don't do that as much anymore. It's like. 
who has to be where when? <laughs> What's going on? What's happening? Now it's more, those are the conversations we have. Those fun conversations of trying to logistically make each day happen. Okay, what am I doing with this one? Two. There's one. I'm not going to make you guys sit through this. Instead, I'm going to catch up on this conversation. Um, I'm going to add one. My dad's cabin in the woods in mid-Michigan. The trees are so dense and tall, it doesn't get light till 11. Oh, my gosh. It's like having a nature's blackout curtains. That sounds fabulous, too. Uh, Carol says one of hotels with room underwater. Ooh, so you can see the sea same, but in place where you see stars. Oh, ooh, that would be good. I love to hear the breeze too. I think that that takes me back to like the house my parents live in. They still don't have AC. Like we, we grew up without AC. So fans were, <laughs> were a treat. And, um, so we always slept with windows open at night unless it was like super hot and muggy, but typically there is a nice breeze. So I always slept with windows open. And once um, all my sisters moved out and went to college, I got the bed by the window, which I didn't get when everybody else was there. So I got the bed by the window and I used to put my feet up on the windowsill and the breeze would come in on my feet. And I just thought that it was heavenly. And uh, I miss that. I miss that feeling of like, the breeze being the best thing ever. Hope everyone had a good Whoop Wednesday. Had to miss again. I have to do my Whoop Wednesday in about an hour. Well, hello, Carolyn. I was in a communist in the 70s. Nothing ached. Sleeping outside. Dogs cuddling. Life was good. Mm -hmm. Arizona, Oklahoma, says Carrie, Colorado, Georgia, Idaho, to spend precious time with long-distance friend, then two nights in the Swiss Alps. Ooh, that sounds good. One night in the Swiss Alps and another in Paris. Hello, Renee. Hello, Angela. Whatchamacallit working on? <laughs> Hometown quilt seeds. Are you talking about what I'm working on? Just got back from getting my machine service. Ooh, it's going to be running so nice and smooth now. How lovely. Okay, so I got to cut 32 of these teeny tiny things. So I'm going to sign off and I'm going to cut these last two fabrics on my own. The last one should go fast. I only have to cut five of those, but this one might take a hot second. Um, autocorrect. <laughs> what should we call it? That's funny. So you guys, thank you for joining me today for Whip Wednesday. I hope you will come back and join me tomorrow for Friends Thursday live stream. <clears throat> uh, quilting and cross stitch. We're going to pull some goodies to share with you tomorrow. And uh, in the meantime, stay tuned for Flower Girl. That will be added to the website very, very soon. And invoices will be being sent for that. Also, Autumn will be added to the website very soon. And uh, we've already sent some invoices for Fat Quarter Bundles, and we are in the midst of cutting kits. That'll take a little bit of time. So we won't be sending out invoices for any of that this week. Um, but I will see you tomorrow. And then yay for retreat. Anybody who's coming to retreat, I will see you on Friday night. And for sure on Saturday, if I don't see you Friday night. I'll see you Saturday morning for our official kickoff of our retreat. I cannot wait to see you. 
bring your phones to take lots of pictures and do lots of happy little stitch shop retreat posts. And um, everybody have a great weekend, but first I'll see you tomorrow. So be here tomorrow. Thank you so much. I will see you then. Happy Whip Wednesday, everybody. Happy stitching and take care.